Greetings, greetings, greetings and salutations one and all. Welcome, 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 welcome to the night shift. Well, I say big ups to you wherever you're locked in from. Whether you're tuning on TuneIn Radio, the night shift to DJ Kevin Stew, Rotterbox.net, any of the affiliate stations, Foundation Radio Network, One Harmony Radio, top of the morning to you guys over there in the UK, um, WGLRO, home of the Donnie Walker Morning Show, taking you from the, street, the sheets to the streets with the walk on the people station, WGLRO.com. Big ups to you, big ups, big ups, big ups. Glad to have you. Those tuning in on Pulses, P E M G T V dot com. Glad to have you, glad to have you. And of course, if you're locked in on the home of the night shift to DJ Kevin Stew, Kevin Stew dot com, where you find the stew pot. Very interactive. It's where we keep things bubbling. Others call it a chat room. It's the stew pot on Kevin Stew dot com. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Couldn't do it without you. And guess what? You have my word. I wouldn't even try. Kicking it, to, kicking it off with a little bit of Enzo featuring Busy Signal. It's called Sober. Stay right here when we leave the 
I want to say thank you to Policy Media Group for sponsoring this segment of the show. Policy Media, when being in the moment, is priceless. You want to give them a link. 754-999-6020. What moment? You name it. It could be a party. It could be a graduation. It could be a barbecue. It could be a funeral. It could be a wedding. Whatever it is. If you deem it worthy of capturing that moment or even streaming that moment live on a secure network, contact Pulsey Media Group. They got a hookup for you. Once again, you can visit them on pulseemg.com or give them a call 754-999-6020. I want to go home sober. But you don't want to go home drunk every night. Come on now. Well, you know, being sober is not necessarily being alcohol intoxicated or uh, inebriated. Or just under the influence <laughs> of alcohol. Um, you could be drunk with love. Who knows? Welcome to Healthy Love, ladies and gentlemen. Glad to have you. Couldn't do it without you. Wouldn't want to try. Big ups to 238. Hashtag happy and Julian. Hanging out right now in the stew pot. I invite everybody to, that can hear us to jump on into the stew pot. The water is always fine. Ask them. They can tell you. They're loving it right now. Um, tonight, we're looking at something that is, is, is no, it's not new to healthy love, the, the subject of fasting. Um, we have addressed it in, in, in numerous ways, but tonight, it's looking at it in a slightly different way, and one that... I would say is close to my heart and I'm pretty sure close to many hearts. According to research presented at the Endocrine Society's annual meeting on March 23, 2019, intermittent fasting where you eat all your meals for the day within a narrow window of time and specifically as it relates to this, within eight hours, drastically reduces a woman's risk of breast cancer. You heard right. Eating all your meals within an eight-hour window could drastically reduce the risk of breast cancer. And according to Dr. Manasi Das, uh, postdoctoral fellow at the University of California, San Diego, who led the research team. He says, improving the metabolic health of postmenopausal women with obesity may mitigate their risk for breast cancer. Time-restricted eating may be more successful than calorie restriction in controlling the negative effects of obesity due to the hunger and irritability that makes it more difficult to stick with long-term calorie restriction. I just start sounding like it makes sense. The results suggest the anti-tumor effect of time-restricted eating is at least partially due to lower levels of insulin, suggesting this intervention may be effective in breast cancer prevention and therapy. So it doesn't only help those who have never received, never had breast cancer, never been diagnosed, but also those who have been diagnosed. Exploring the ability of time-restricted eating to prevent breast cancer could provide an an inexpensive but effective strategy to prevent cancer impacting a wide range of patients and represents a groundbreaking advance in breast cancer research. 
Think about it. Eating within an eight hour period. So if you get up and, and, and when I say eating, I mean having all your meals within this 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 window. And so your day starts with you waking up at what? Six, seven AM? And your first meal is round about midday and your last meal is round about 8 p.m. Or you have your last meal by 8 p.m. Sounds difficult? Mm. It's doable. The team conducted three separate experiments on mice whose ovaries had been removed to simulate a postmenopausal state. In the first, the mice were first fattened up with a high-fat diet, after which they were divided into two groups. One had access to food around the clock, while the other had eight-hour access to chow at night, the time of highest physical activity. Now remember, these are mice. Nocturnal. The control group consisted of lean mice given access to a low-fat diet 24 hours a day. Three weeks into the experiment, all of the animals were injected with breast cancer cells. Results showed time-restricted feeding, also known as intermittent fasting, reduced tumor growth in the obese mice to levels similar to those in the lean mice. In the second experiment, they used mice that were genetically modified to develop breast cancer. Wait, pause. So, the mice were bred to develop breast cancer? That means that can be controlled? Things that make you go... Hmm. But I digress. As before, half of the mice had round the clock access to high, a high fat diet, while the other had access to food for eight hours. Here, they also assessed the impact of insulin by artificially raising insulin in some mice using an insulin pump, while lowering it in others using the drug diaz diazoxide. In the third experiment, mice fed a low-fat diet were given insulin via an insulin pump or saline as a control, while mice on a high-fat diet were either given diazoxide to lower their insulin levels or no drug as the control. As you'd su suspect, if you did, higher insulin levels fueled tumor development, while lower levels inhibited cancer growth. And as reported by the New York Post, the results add to a growing body of evidence that indicates obesity and metabolic syndrome, a collection of risk factors that increase the chance of developing heart disease, stroke, and diabetes are also risk factors for cancer, particularly postmenopausal breast cancer. Concerning, have your ears already perked up? Have your eyes already widened? Indeed, other studies have found intermittent fasting as a powerful anti-cancer strategy. And researchers are even working on getting it approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration as an adjunct to cancer treatment to improve long-term survival rates. Now, if this test was done, and like most other tests done with lab rats my, or lab mice, taken to the public and drugs have been 
flying off the shelves and drugs have been pushed by doctors because they did all these tests and whatever else. Why would this be so difficult to get past as a strategy to aid in the prevention of cancer? Or even in fighting cancer? Is it possibly because, and this is just my thinking, stop me if you think I'm going off on a tangent that is way out there. Oh, by the way, 773-789 still gets you in touch. 773-789-7839. Is it possible that no real interest has been placed on this because it's inexpensive? And it doesn't require drugs, nor a visit to the doctor. You might want to consult with your doctor on finding a dietitian, maybe. But for the most part, you don't need to spend any money other than your grocery on, on, on your grocery bill. And it may actually reduce your grocery bill because it's intermittent fasting. Not to say that you would actually eat less. You could actually end up eating less. But you're having your meals within an eight-hour period. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. So, intermittent fasting. That is following a meal timing schedule where... You're fasting for at least six hour, 16 hours every day and eating all your meals within an eight hour consecutive, it, within eight consecutive hours. Um, this actually has a list of confirmed, not suggested, not assumed, confirmed health benefits. There are also other intermittent fasting plans where you dramatically cut back on your calories for a certain number of days each week while eating normally during the remainder. The 5 to 2 intermittent fasting plan is, is, is one that is like that. The fasting mimicking diet um, developed to match the effects of water only fasting is another. So, it, it, it may also include fluid intake, depending on, on the structure of your diet. Um, you still, one thing you won't, wait a minute, what's going on? Okay, all right. Yeah, so uh, they were they were attacking again for a moment, the gremlins. Um, yeah, uh, fluid intake. It 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 could be that your des your diet is designed a specific way to include fluid intake. Um, but uh, for the most part, it's your food intake. Most, if not all, of these plans have similar benefits. And these include for uh, a rundown of the science behind some of the benefits. There's also um, an article by Chris Kresser. That's K-R-E-S-S-E-R. -S -S -E Chris Kesser. Intermittent fasting, the science behind the, the trend. So, some of the benefits of intermittent fasting. Releasing ketones into your bloodstream, which help preserve brain function and protect against epileptic, epileptic seizures, cognitive impairment, and other neurodegenerative diseases. Remember, we, we talked about um, the ketone diet recently and the benefits of it. Boosting production of brain-derived brain neurotrophic factor which stimulates creation of new brain cells 
and triggers brain chemicals that protect against brain changes associated with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. This is, we're looking at, at, at proven benefits of intermittent fasting. Increasing growth hormone by as much as 1300% in women and 2000% in men, thereby promoting muscle development and vitality. Lowering insulin and improving your insulin sensitivity. Studies have shown intermittent fasting can both prevent and reverse type 2 diabetes, which is rooted in insulin resistance. Yeah, you heard right. Type 2 diabetes. It, it can help in increasing the neurotransmitter norepinephrine. norepinephrine which helps your body to break down fat to be used as fuel and benefits your metabolism. Sounds like the ketone diet? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Upregulating up autophagy and mitophagy, which will help protect against most disease, including, ready for it? Including cancer and neurodegeneration. Um, shifting st stem cells from a dormant state to a state of self-renewal. How about that? Intermittent fasting. Boosting mitochondrial energy efficiency and biosynthesis. For those who are not familiar with the mitochondria, it is known as the energy storehouse or the, 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 the energy center of cells. So cells tend to have a mitochondria, and that is where the energy in the cells come from. So can you imagine boosting mitochondrial energy efficiency and biosynthesis? Yeah, I remember that mitochondria thing from bio class back in third form when I was in high school. Or for the rest, some of you might be more familiar with the ninth grade. Um, lowering oxidative stress and inflammation. We're looking at benefits of, of intermittent fasting. Improving circulating glucose and lipid levels. Reducing blood pressure. Improving metabolic efficiency and body composition. Modulating levels of dangerous visceral fat and significantly reducing body weight in obese individuals. Reproducing some of the cardiovascular benefits associated with exercise. How about that? Without doing the exercise, you're, 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 you're um, reproducing some of the cardiovascular benefits. That's a sweet deal in and of itself. Regenerating the pancreas and improving pancreatic function. Can I, I won't even, because I, I, I know you get it. Protecting against cardiovascular disease, reducing low-density li lipoprotein and total cholesterol, improving immune function, so you won't be sick as often, or you'll recover from illnesses a whole lot quicker. Ooh, one of the wild ones joined us in the pot. Good evening. Or is it two? Um... Synchronizing your body's biological clocks. Some of us, are, our biological clocks kind of off sync. You know, it, it's, it's out of whack. So our bodies are doing some strange things. But intermittent fasting could help to reset that. Eliminating sugar cravings as your body adapts to burning fat instead of sugar. Can't lose out on that. Um, increase longevity because there are a number of mechanisms contributing to this effect this particular effect of increased longevity normalizing insulin sensitivity is a major one but fasting also inhibits the mTOR pathway which plays an important part in driving the aging process so you'll start to look younger and feel younger. I, I, I can't see where 
anybody would go wrong with going with something like an intermittent fast if that is a benefit it it just makes sense right i think so 29 minutes after the hour we're gonna take a quick little break i invite you all to bring some friends on into the stew pot uh, have them tune in you can share directly from kevinstew.com just hover over the, the the video it gives you the option to share just share it to wherever or whomever you think this particular show might benefit and of course there's also the the, the ability to go check out previous shows the video archive is there don't be shy uh, the, the the site won't bite you <laughs> In fact, it's glad to see you, as am I. So we're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, we talk some more. We, we'll look at some intermittent fasting considerations when we come back, okay? All right, we'll be right back. Pulsey Media Group, innovative streaming and recording, has done it again. A new way to get your business in full view of your neighborhood consumer through AdShare TV. It's available in your neighborhood today. It's easy. Just call us, 754-999-6020. Become a host today and place a TV monitor in a strategic location so it's easy to see. Get a one-minute video ad or longer that plays anywhere in our network. Can't be a host? No problem. For a few dollars, we'll run your 30-second video ad. A host can run announcement specials like buy one get one free or discount ads. Let's turn your flyers into a 30 second video with music or a voiceover or let us create and run your video ad with a spokesperson. Take advantage of our early enrollment discount. Join us today. Your ad will be seen at least 30 times per day in your AdShare TV neighborhood. It's easy. Just call us 754-999-6020. AdShare TV, part of Pulse Media Group. Are you crazy about the music industry? You aspire to hit it big in music? Or maybe you've sweated out a soulful killer beat and are now stuck finding it's not as easy as it looked. Oh, but it can be easy for you with JTMC. We've been there, we know how it feels. So we solve challenges like production, promotion, marketing, branding and development, and more. With over 30 years of experience, JTMC is a one-stop shop for artists. We handle your graphic design, writing services, PR, as well as event planning, e-blasts, artist management, and bookings, so also your website and social media needs as well. We're experts in using creativity to persuade audiences on behalf of artists, drawing on our diverse experience to create projects that connect with audiences intellectually and emotionally. Artist success is everything to us, and our years of experience and commitment will be behind you for every one of your needs. If you've got music for the world to hear, whether you're a new or established artist, visit us at jtmcenterprise.com. I'm in almost every school bus in class. You see me around the neighborhood, and you tell me that I'm a pretty good kid. Well, I'm one out of every five children in America, and I'm struggling with hunger. Please visit feedingamerica.org today and find your local food bank for ways to help. Every dollar you donate helps provide eight meals for kids like me. We are Feeding America, brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Matthew twenty-eight nineteen says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. With this in mind, and encouragement received during a South Florida media conference, The Church Links was birthed. The Church Links is an interdenominational worship service portal for churches, providing the tools to spread the word through technology in a cost-effective way. The Church Links 
www.dahchurchlinx.com Your links to worship and praise. It's Christine to representing for DJ Kevin. You see me, I say, I don't know the boss. You see me, I say, DJ Kevin's too. And a night shift ready to show you it. At the thing, turn up the thing loud. Whoa! DJ Kevin's true at the heart of a champion. Never underestimate, just choose him. The silver line behind the dark clouds. DJ Kevin's true, believe him, and that's no doubt. Sell out the night shift ready to show Christine. This is a heart to Loud. Kill a beast. Yeah. I want y'all to listen, man, because these stories right here that I'm talking about, it may not be about me, it may not be about you, the fact of the matter is it's about somebody, somebody needs this right here, check it, there was this dude I was friends with, friends since we were elementary kids, yes, we were homeboys, Boys. through thick and thin, he had my back and I had his, we did so many, many things despite the fact in God's eyes that it just wasn't right. Then I got saved and gave my life to Christ. God took me in to help me spiritually regain my sight. Then I had a chance to tell my best friend about my Savior, the beginning and the end. But I was too afraid, I thought I would offend him. So I let him remain trapped in the sin. Turning on the news. Then my heart sunk, sunk. It was my homeboy, he was killed by a truck. He lost his life and never got saved. All because of a choice that I made. Uh. There are consequences for every choice you make. You make. So review your options before you make a mistake. There are consequences for every choice you make. You make. Just put your faith in God, that's the chance you'll have to take Yo, There was this girl, she was mad fine Looked finger licking good, she had to be mine I ended up eventually approaching this time Got her hooked with a little bit of my sweet lines We became friends, then we became more What a girl, I didn't know what I was in for one thing, thing led to another Hugging, kissing, caressing each other Before you know it, we had intercourse It was an idea that we both endorsed uh, Time passed, many, many days went by She didn't speak to me, got me wondering why. why Then I got a letter from her in my mailbox I read the note and instantly my jaw dropped Congratulations, you got AIDS Yet another unwise choice that I made uh, yeah. There are consequences for every choice you make. you make. So review your options before you make a mistake. mistake. There are consequences for every choice you make. You make. Just put your faith in God, that's the chance you'll have to take A little while after my best friend's death I went to his parents' house to pay my respects I figured at this point they were both depressed But I felt a lot worse and I felt so stressed Then his mother spoke to me and to my surprise He got saved just about a day before he died He followed my example, my walk with Christ And I gave God the glory that he made his life right I still had AIDS, I felt bad since I found down, so I knelt down to repent. I went to a healing service at my home church and I put faith in God because I know all this work. The pastor told me to just have a little faith. Then I went home, had an appointment the next day. After my follow up test, it revealed no more AIDS by your stripes. I was healed. There are consequences for every choice you make. There are consequences for every choice we make. Make a mistake. The sound of G Quinn the Crucifer. A track called Choices and Consequences. I want to say thanks to G Map Music Solutions for sponsoring this segment of the show. Consequences for every choice you make. Make choices. 
so review your options before you uh, they bring your event to life providing you with stage production services musical equipment musicians singers DJs audio engineers so or just equipment get them on call 754-307-GMAC or visit them at gmacmusicsolutions.com tell them that Kevin Stew sent you you make a mistake because you heard about them from the night shift with DJ Kevin Stew choice you make you make just put your faith in God that's the choice you'll have to say to say to say to say so what choice are you going to make as it relates to this intermittent intermittent fasting is it something that you will choose to look into? Is it something that you will choose to do? Is it something you will choose to ignore? Do you know anybody that has tried it? Do you know if they have, if you do know someone that has tried it, what, 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 what has been the result of it? Have any of you that are tuned in right now tried intermittent fasting? 773-789 still gets you in touch. 773-789-7839. Go ahead and, 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 and give us a call. Share your views. Uh, again, it's judgment free. If, if you think intermittent fasting is a load of crock, that's fine. Share it. Jump into the, into the pot, the stew pot on kevinstew.com. You can share your views there as well. Um, no, nobody is here to judge. We're just here for, so that we can learn, so that we can understand. And in understanding, nobody is right, nobody is wrong. You just have an understanding. So while intermittent fasting is likely to be beneficial for most people, there are some things that you want to consider. Intermittent fasting does not have to be uh, a form of calorie restriction. It is a practice that should make you feel good. If your fasting strategy is making you feel weak and lethargic, then you might want to reevaluate that approach that you're taking. There's something that you just might need to change. And it may not be a, a big modification. It may be just a simple thing that you need to modify. Sugar cravings. Those are temporary. Your hunger and craving for sugar will slowly dissipate as your body starts burning fat as its primary fuel. Once your body has successfully shifted into fat burning mode, it will be easier for you to last for as long as 18 hours and still feel satiated. Now, that in and of itself is, is, is awesome. When intermittent fasting is important, um, it is important to eat real food. And that I, I, I believe that is, is, is a, such a big deal. While intermittent fasting may sound like a, an, a, an, an attack against ill health and excess weight and quite the solution too it alone may not provide you with all the benefits or all of those benefits the quality of your diet plays an important role if you're looking for more than just mere weight loss so depending on how you structure that diet it could mean different things for different people it is critical to avoid processed foods, particularly refined carbs. Refined carbohydrates, your sugar or your fructose and your grains, you, 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 you'll definitely need to pay attention to avoiding those. Focus your diet on vegetable carbs, healthy protein in moderate amounts, and healthy fats such as butter, Eggs, avocado, coconut oil, olive oil, and raw nuts. Okay, so here we go. Um, 
in, in the pot. Here's a comment. I do intermittent fasting and it has helped me lose weight because it has helped me to control what I eat and when. From listening to the earlier segment, I now realize intermittent fasting helped me to no longer be pre-diabetic. So, here it is. A testimony. And... This, this, this is from someone who is currently doing inter- intermittent fasting. Yes, here it is. I do intermittent fasting. Not I did or I know of or I am about to try. No, no, no. I do intermittent fasting. So, it's, 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 so it's basically, it's a part of your lifestyle. Is it something you do every day? Is it something that you do... Um, on this week, off next week, how, how, how do you do your intermittent fasting? And how do you feel in doing it? Um, there's a book, Keto Fast. And it's a follow-up book to Fat for Fuel by Dr. Richard Mercola. And he in it he discusses the strategies laid out for in in, in fat for fuel um first which includes daily intermittent fasting and cyclical nutritional ketosis um and that is before you move on to a keto fast so those who are interested in doing a keto fast you know it's something that you want to look into uh, he, Dr. Mercola wrote Keto Fast because he strongly believes multi-day water-only fasting is, pro- is, is a profoundly effective interf- intervention. However, while extended water fasts have been used for centuries, modern-day life presents us with toxic exposures that can actually make water fasting problematic as fasting very effectively releases toxins. Now, most people today are severely toxic. Now, take that any which way you choose. I know some very toxic people, but in a different type of way. And the sudden release of those toxins could actually be potentially harmful. So, again... You need to be careful. You don't just jump into some of these things head first. Consult a dietitian. Consult your 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 GP. Consult your your primary care doctor. So, keto fast essentially presents a modified form of water fasting in combination with a cyclical ketogenic diet. Um, that it is 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 easier to do, and provides greater benefits because you're able to do it more frequently. As it was mentioned, it is best to have implemented a six, uh, a month of six to eight hour daily intermittent fasting and nutritional ketosis as laid out in his book, Fat for Fuel. Do that first before you get into the longer type of fasting. Again, most things that you do, if you start out doing it in baby steps, then you can start taking larger steps and then running with it. I know as soon as I mention run with it, some people just perk up. No, 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 not that run with it. Don't worry. (laughs) Well, once you're metabolically flexible and you can burn fat for fuel... The combination of cyclical nutritional ketosis and cyclical fasting is phenomenal for for weight loss and optimizing your health and longevity. So it's not just used for weight loss, but to optimize your health and your longevity. Now, as discussed before, um... There are several five-day water-only fasts that have been done. 
this modified strategy um, will will really help because the water fasts, as it was done by some people, they just found that it, it wasn't necessary. So basically, the modified fasting method involves daily intermittent fasting for 16 to 18 hours, five to six days a week. Then once or twice a week, you have a single 300 to 500 calorie meal that day, followed by a 24-hour water-only fast. In essence, you're only eating 300 to 500 calories in 42 hours. Now, there's also dietary recommendations to ensure that you're getting the nutrients your body needs to support your detox pathways. So you want to pay attention to those. Um, you're very welcome and take care. I, 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 I pray that you, you'll feel a lot better in the morning since you got your dose of healthy love. <laughs> and I know how healthy love can help. So I, I do hope you feel better. Have yourself a great night. Um, so how do you go about implementing cyclical keto and fasting? Oh, by the way, of course, you know. You can catch the rest of the show in the archives. Um, fasting... And nutritional ketosis provide many of the same benefits and work best when implemented in a pulsed fashion. Together, cyclical keto and intermittent fasting is a near unbeatable combination capable of really maximizing the health benefits of both. There's a quick summary of how to implement these two strategies as a cohesive program. So it's not just a, all right, let's just jump into it, do it this way and see how it turns out. No, 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 no. Strategies. To everything, there's a strategy. So first, you want to implement an intermittent fasting schedule. Oh, for you, it is an, in, in, uh, an everyday lifestyle. Not a temporary diet. So there may be days when you may vary the fasting period as if, as, oh, for example, if you do a sport and you have to start an event at 8 a.m., you may need to have some food before you start your event. Um, you can be flexible with intermittent fasting. Yes, yes. I, I would recommend, especially if you're doing sports, that you don't just get into your sports without having a meal. <laughs> That is a recipe for passing out in. Yes, I did say passing out in. All right. That's, that's an actual thing. So intermittent and Im Im to implement an intermittent fasting schedule. Eat all your meals, either breakfast and lunch or lunch and dinner, within a six to eight hour window each day. Fast for the remaining 16 to 18 hours. In all of this, if, if, if all of this is new to you and the idea of making changes to your diet and eating habits seem a bit daunting, start out by eating your regular diet on this schedule. So you get up your normal time and do your regular thing, but you eat your first meal just a little bit later. I, I would say, just if you can't just get up and start cold turkey, skipping a meal, just push it further back and push it a little bit further back. Baby steps. That's what I, I would suggest you do because it takes time to adjust to new things, right? Now, once this has become routine, move on to implement the ketogenic diet, which is your step two, followed by the cyclical component, which happens to be your step three. 
Now, you can take comfort in knowing that once you reach step three, you'll be able to cycle in some of your favorite healthy carbs um, on a weekly basis. So, whether they are or not, they'll still be your favorite carbs. Well, that is left to be determined. So, your, your second step is to switch to a ketogenic diet until you can create measurable ketones. The three-part key is to one, restrict net carbs, net carbohydrates, total carbs minus your fiber. That's your net carbohydrates. To 20 to 50 grams per day. Two, to replace the lost carbs with healthy fats so that you're getting anywhere from 50 to 85% of your daily calories from fat. And thirdly, to limit protein to one half gram of protein per pound of lean body mass. So you do the math. To determine that your lean body mass, subtract your body fat percentage from 100. Then multiply that percentage by your current weight. That will give you your total lean body mass. Vegetables which are loaded with fiber can be eaten without restrictions. The primary carb sources that need to be cut out are grains and all forms of sugar including high fructose fruits which can be quite a challenge for some healthy net carbs will be cycled back in once you've entered ketosis but in the initial stages you want to make sure to eliminate these things some of your healthy fat sources include avocados coconut oil animal based omega-3 from fatty fish, um, butter, raw nuts like your macadamias, your pecans. Um, these are ideal as they are high in healthy fat while being low in protein. So you, you, you might want to look at, at, at those nuts in particular. Seeds, olives and olive oil, grass-fed animal products, MCT oil, raw cacao butter and organic pastured egg yolks um i just want to, to to mention at this point that there has been quite a bit of talk as it relates to eggs not being good for you this is the second time as i'm presenting this information that eggs are mentioned and mentioned positively look into these things people i almost did tonight's show on that about eggs being not good for us almost and i'm tempted to to, to look at that as next week's topic very tempted but we'll see um in continuing Avoid all trans fats and highly refined polyunsaturated vegetable oils. Adding these harmful fats could actually cause more damage than excess carbs. So just because an item is high in fat does not mean you should eat it. What kind of fat is it high in? Maintain these ratios of net carbs, fat, and protein until you've achieved ketosis and your body is burning fat for fuel. Keto testing strips can be used to confirm that you're in ketosis, defined as having blood ketones in the range of 0 0.5 to 3.0 um, mmol per liter. Um... What's that? Millimeters? Okay. Whatever that measurement is. I, I forget now. I looked at it 
recently. I know I forgot. Um, it is. It is. I think I can tell you real quick. Um, millimoles per liter. That's what it is. MM oil. Millimoles per liter. Um, keep in mind, it, it can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to a few months before your body is able to effectively burn fat again. Okay? It's, it's again... Uh, Nothing that you're doing here is, 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 is a jump into it and it gets done right away kind of a thing. Remember that precision is important when it comes to these nutrient ratios. Too many net carbs will effectively prevent ketosis as your body will use any available glucose first. Your body will go for the sugar first that, which is why it is important to eliminate the sugars from the diet to get to achieve ketosis Since, and it's because it's an easier fat to burn your body is going to go with what is easiest to do so make sure you have some basic measuring and tracking tools on hand things like a kitchen scale measuring cups a nutrient tracker um and there is there's a free one um called uh, that you can get at chronometer.com which is actually set up for nutritional ketosis i think that is pretty cool so if you can already get that going then i believe you're off to a good start yeah Make sense? Cool. So we're going to take a quick little break. Um, I just want to remind you that the Happy Blanket is still available. It is still available. Nobody has scooped it up yet. Give me a call, 773-789-STU. You can still get the blanket. And um, even if you miss out on the blanket, you can make a suggestion to see um, <laughs> what, 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 what you can get. This is a handmade blanket. Okay, I have seen the blanket. I have felt the blanket. The blanket is so soft and comfy that I wanted the blanket myself. But it is for sale. I will make sure that, that, that I remind you the blanket is for sale sale uh we're gonna take a quick little break when we come back like i said we'll we'll continue um oh before i go let me let me all right i'll i'll, I'll address that while too i'll address that as soon as we come back from the break okay um call your friends tell your friends the night shift we're on we'll be right back Roll out with Island Rock Music and have fun. Check out the quality apparel at islandrockmusic.com. Designed for you and your crew. Hear the music, feel the breeze with selected tracks and more. Available now from the online store at islandrockmusic.com. Islandrockmusic.com. Log on today and ride with us. Stepping. These are roots vibration. Stepping. Today in school, I learned a lot. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes me. In English, I learned that I'm disgusting. And in physics, I learned that I'm a loser. Today in school, in math, I learned that I'm ugly and I useless. Trash. And in gym, in biology, I learned that I'm pathetic that I'm fat and a joke. In history, in school, I learned that I'm trash. Today in school, I learned that I have no friends. In English, I learned that I make people sick. And, in and at lunch, I learned that I sit on my own because I smell. In chemistry, I learned that no one. Likes in biology, me. I learned that I'm fat and stupid. In English, and in I math, learned that I, I learned that I'm trash. The only thing I didn't learn in school today. The only thing I didn't learn today. The only thing I didn't learn is why no one ever helps. Kids witness bullying every day. They want to help, but they don't know how. 
Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. When being in the moment is priceless, consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse eMedia Group has the tools you need. Weddings, birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse eMedia Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse Media Group, when being in the moment is priceless. JTMC Music presents the highly anticipated, much talked about, the Juggling Rhythm Volume 1. This classic rhythm takes on a new life with tracks from both established artists and introduces some incredible new voices. Get your dancing shoes ready with the Juggling Rhythm, featuring international reggae dancehall artist Missa Vegas, alongside Ian Sweetness, Ed Robinson, Jack Raddix, Hezron, Dangling, Joanna Marie featuring Galaxy P, Denny Rance featuring Jawiz, Amber Leek, Christine Alicia, Yishka, also the new sensations on the rhythm, Zeal, Danger Lee, Marquis Skelenar, Zachary, available on all digital media outlets. The Juggling Rhythm. Get it, get it, get it. This is Gia Yi, and you're listening to The Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew. Hi, this is Cara Manti, and you're listening to DJ Kevin Stew, and this is The Night Shift. Smile like the stars, the brightens of the night. Hand in my hand, hold me tight. I so deep, like the ocean, so mysterious. Boy, you make me feel so damn delirious. Cause you're so beautiful.
What else can I say? I thank you. I think you're beautiful too. False and all. I want to say thanks to JTMC for sponsoring this segment of the show. JTMC Enterprises providing you with tour management, bookings, promotions, event management, social media management, and more. Give them a call, 678-793-8800, 678-793-8800. And when you call them, what do you do? Tell them you heard about them right here on the Night Shift to DJ Kevin Stew. Oh, so this is new music from Tenille. Produced by the one and only Jason J. Vibe Farmer. It's called Man You're Beautiful. A song about me. <laughs> Listen, if I don't claim it, who's going to give it to me? Right. So, um, <laughs> uh, one of our potters seems to be a little bit upset because based on the information that we've been providing, they, uh, she says, the only thing, they say, the only thing I'm going to have to eat is crow. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's, it's that bad. You don't have to, to go to that kind of extreme, but, um, they continued to go out to say my friend has been beating me about this about the head with elements of this for years so many of us can't be wrong or so many cannot be wrong with the same information or unless everybody drinking the same kool-aid who knows only those who have tried it and based on evidence even evidence of those that that we know clearly as as posted by by someone else in the pot um thank you julie um intermittent fasting works so while too you don't need to be stressing over it just baby steps but baby steps take your time get into it slowly once the third step in the process is is knowing that you're in ketosis and once you've confirmed that you're in ketosis begin cycling in and out of keto and you do this by eating higher amounts of net carbs once or twice a week as a general recommendation triple the amount of net carbs on these high carb days Cycling in and out of nutritional ketosis will maximize the biological benefits of cellular regeneration and renewal while minimizing the potential drawbacks and of, of, of continuous keto. Now, one of the things that is said to happen in ketosis, and I addressed this a few weeks ago when I looked at a keto diet, is a scent. So... Um, <laughs> it, 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 it could, this could be one of the drawbacks of, of the keto diet. And it's, it's a thing that, that women, some women have said that they have experienced, but when you're changing things in yourself, you'll be able to notice certain things that are different. And you can tell if you, if you change your diet, you can, you can, sometimes you can tell a change in your diet by the, the, the smell or the taste of your own perspiration. So these are that, these are things that, 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 that you can look for. Okay, he frowns whenever he sees me eating breakfast at work and has been saying I should not eat past 8 o'clock at night. This would mean squeezing my eating, between, my eating day between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. My only argument for the breakfast bit is that I've always been told that you need to start your body to start the body's furnace in the morning. Otherwise, the body will store a good portion of whatever you give it at midday. Um, even if your body is storing whatever you give it at midday, it will have to burn it off by the time you put something more in it. If you cut off adding more to it at a certain time and don't start 
until you assert another t- uh, another point in the di- in the next day the, the 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 body is intelligent if you're not eating regularly it will hold on to whatever it gets because it will say um well you know i don't know when i'm going to get something again so now it's storing fat However, if you're training your body to recognize that, okay, we're going to burn this off because we're going to get some more later on, then it only stands to reason. It's the it's science of it. Um, so, again, baby steps. You don't have to stress it. You don't have to dive head first into it. Take your baby steps. And understand, there's no one size fits all. So, whatever, however it is, 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 you customize it that works for you. You want to stick as close as possible to the, to, to the, to the basics of it. So that you're maximizing the benefits of it. But, do it. <laughs> that's, that's basically what it boils down to. Do it. Do it to be satisfied. But, do it. <laughs> While higher net carb amounts are allowed once or twice a week at when you're in the stage of, of, of being in keto, in ketosis, there is the advice given that you still be mindful of what is healthy and what is not. Ideally, you'd want to forego the potato chips and the bagels. And focus on adding in healthier alternatives, such as digestive resi- resistant starches. High net carb foods, such as potatoes, rice, bread, and pasta, all become more digestive resistant when they're cooked. Um, when they're cooked, cooled, and then reheated. And this is one way of making such indulgences a bit healthier. So, um, be, 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 be mindful of that. And fourthly, so yes, there's a fourth step in it. And this would be the, the, the penultimate step. At this point, you're ready to move to the modified water-only fasting regimen that is described in keto fast. Now, this involves daily intermittent fasting for 16 to 18 hours on days you are not keto fasting. Then once or twice a week, you have a single 300 to 500 calorie meal on that day followed by fasting until your next normal meal so for a six hour eating window you would eat 300 to 500 calories in a 42 hour period you get that a six hour eating window so you eat 300 to 500 calories in a 42 hour period. Now, again, that may be quite a challenge for some people. But notice, you don't get to that point overnight. Step by step by step. You take your baby steps. Because Rome wasn't built in a day. You don't just jump in and say, this is where you're going to be right here at the end of it all. No, 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 no. Take your baby steps. Walk it out. Take your time. Because when you get to that fourth, that, that, that fourth stage, that um, modified water-only fasting regimen, You'll almost be invincible. <laughs> you know that, that the idea is to be feeling that good. 
that you can take on anything. And you should be healthy enough that you should be able to even try. But again, baby steps. Take your time. See where it gets you. Intermittent fasting have been proven to have benefits and a myriad of them. Ask Julie. She she just said it in the in the in the in the pot. Um, she does intermittent fasting daily. So, ask her how it helps her. Ask her how she felt when she started. I'm sure she'd tell you. Ask her right now. You can. She's in the chat. In fact, I'm asking her right now. Julie, I'm asking you. How did you feel when you started? What was it like? And how mo how different is it now from when you started? How long have you been doing this? It's a lot of questions at once. Uh, pff, you're used to it. <laughs> I know you got this. Uh, you, hey, come on. You're Julie. You go, girl. Yeah, I I did say you go, girl. Um, okay. So comment, comment in the pot. Uh, you do need to start the body's furnace in the morning, but it may not have to be as early as you think. Your body needs uh, sufficient time to burn what you eat, especially if you eat red meat. So if you eat later than 8 p.m. and then start eating again early in the morning, 7 or 8 a.m., your body is not getting enough time to burn off the food. Red meat especially can take up to 48 hours to be fully digested. See, 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 here you go. I oh. You go, girl. I'm sure the girls are with talent. <laughs> Paul Anthony working out with Nico Allen. It's called You Go Girl. You can do it. Greetings, greetings, hello. Hello, hello. Hello? 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 Okay, let me see if I can get that call back because um, that's, that's, that's an important call to get. In the meantime, in between time, let me just run this. Hello? Hey. Hey. Okay. Um, good evening. What, what what do you have to share with us? Hello. Hello. Are you hearing? Yeah. Hi, it's Julie. Hey, Julie. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Okay. Okay, so I know that it's Julie. Oh, okay. Now everybody knows that it's Julie. Okay. Um, Hi, everybody. No stranger to the night shift. Um, Julianne was our guest just last week. Um, and again, thank you for, for doing that, sharing with us then. No problem. No and problem. I'll thank you in advance for sharing with us right now in Healthy Love. What do you have to share with us? I see you putting in, in, in the pot about you doing um, intermittent fasting. Yeah, you had asked about 10 different questions. So. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It really works. <laughs> Ask no, it does work. It does. It, it does work. I've been doing it since about um, last year, January, February, mm -hmm. and I have felt a difference in energy. Okay. Um, 
I've also, as I said, just listening to your first segment, I realized that it did have a part to play in, I guess, reversing my pre-diabetic, pre-diabetes. I've always been pre-diabetic. My family, that diabetes runs through the family. Mm-hmm. Um, I never got it full-fledged, like uh, type 2. Right. But I was always uh, pre-diabetic. My doctors are always saying, hey, you have to watch it. You have to watch it. You don't want it to develop. And this has been your whole life. My whole life, yes. Until I started, I started the intermittent fasting beginning of last year, mm-hmm. and when I went back to my um, my doctor in the summer last year, mm-hmm. um, he was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> so I just told him what I started doing, right? And he said, "Whatever you're doing, keep it up." And it was since I started the intermittent fasting. So, in four to six months it reversed your pre-diabetic condition yes um intermittent fasting for you looks like what um well i usually start between i usually take my meals between 12 and 8 um there's sometimes that you can vary like 11 to 7 or you know 10 to 6 or whatever depending on what your day is like right because when i used to work uh uh in corporate america i my time was 10 to 6 um but i i varied it since then and of course as i said earlier in the part if there may be a day where you have to vary it or you know just veer away from it even mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it's flexible enough you can be flexible enough doing intermittent fasting that one day is not going to totally set you off track. Okay. So when, when, when you do go off, it, it, does it, do you feel the difference? I don't really feel the difference unless I'm eating food that I don't normally eat. Ah. When, I move, when, I move, when I move the, the, the fasting period, I'm not, it's just the moving the fasting period. It's not introducing like, bad stuff that I don't normally eat. But I feel it when I introduce stuff that I don't normally eat. Like I'm not a big red meat eater, but okay. I will probably have it like once a month. Um, you know, because I don't really believe in totally restricting yourself from everything, but I, my body just feels better not eating a lot of red meat. Right. So your, your diet typically looks like what? It includes things like what? Well, in the mornings, I either do um, green juicing or I would have eggs and, you know, uh, like with vegetables in it. So it's either or. I don't have every one thing every single day. Um, oh. Or else I'll get tired of it. <laughs> you, do, you, do, you do green so, juicing? Yes. Either green juicing or, or um, as I said, I'd have like eggs and with spinach and tomatoes and stuff like that so the green juicing would have spinach or kale or um celery or and then add different things like maybe an apple or carrot for sweetness stuff like that oh that's nice. breakfast that's, that's nice. breakfast <laughs> that's breakfast and 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 that's that's breakfast around about uh, around about 11 30 12. i mean i start preparing at like 11 30 but usually like 12 o'clock is when you know, I start having so your your my meal. your actual day though starts when of e- oh my actual day yes well I get up and I go to the gym like four or five days a week in the morning around seven seven thirty I don't have to have food before I go to the gym I do have like tea or you know water stuff like that but I. I work out better without food in my system, without really? putting extra food in my system, at least. <laughs> and your yeah. your workout looks like, how intense is your workout? It depends. Some days it's it's, it's lighter, and then some days it's, um, you know, an hour of walking or forty five minutes on a treadmill, or and then and then resistance training. So it depends. I vary that also. You can't do the same thing right, all the time right. at the same intensity. Yeah. So. 
so <laughs> like uh, like like while two was saying how um I, I'm, I'm i'm basically killing their diet with the information i'm i'm providing you're here to say uh not quite the case no no because if 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 in my opinion if you were killing the diet with the information the diet probably needed to change anyway <laughs> a little bit <laughs> probably needs to it, it's not just a matter of the time period but it probably needs to be a little bit you know what what, up or, what is what is exactly being consumed need to be revisited maybe you know right, i don't know what it right. is but you know because you can eat like any other eating program, in my opinion, you can eat most things unless you're allergic to something or unless, you know, you have diabetes where you want to cut out sugar and, or, you know, high blood pressure with the salt. But you can eat a lot of stuff, but not every day. Right. <laughs> you know, things like that. And I, I noticed that you included eggs. You said eggs uh, yes. as a part of your yes. your diet. Do you get yes. do you get the the, the free range eggs, uh, the cage free free range eggs, or or do you just I, choose any old egg? Any 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 egg, any egg, organic, non organic, cage free, whatever. It's eggs. You just grab eggs. I, mean, I just grab eggs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I hey. have to I have to ask you though because there there are some who are more rigid than others. Um, I particularly, personally, I, I, I like to go with, I know it's just, it can be just labeling because I didn't see the, 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 the chicken that laid the eggs, but I like to go with organic free range, cage free. Well, cage free, you have to be careful. It's labels. Now it can be cage free, but understand that, um, Cafos are not cages. So, right. <laughs> you know, you want to be careful with that. But um, if you can get free range eggs, I, 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 I've been searching around for a farmer. That, that I don't know. I don't know any here either. So that's why yeah. whatever eggs I get, it's eggs. I mean, you know. And in, in, it's, it's kind of strange in my community. Um, I hear roosters every morning. I hear a rooster crowing every morning. And, and on the other occasion, I'll see a chicken running around. And I'm like, I've never really gone anywhere up in my side of Broad County and, and seen any of these animals running around. And I'm tempted to get a grill because I the whole idea of free-range chicken really excites me and I'm seeing these chickens every now and then I'm tempted to get a grill and put it in my backyard and entice some of these chickens to come to visit my house um, oh so you meant you're going to you know put up like a chicken coop and you know get take two of them you know let them have fun with each other and start getting your eggs and, you know that thought crossed my mind too but um, the, 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 the stomach kind of took over so I was oh, just thinking okay. to just do some grilling. <laughs> Short-sighted thinking, man. Uh, you see, that is why people like you are around. No, now that, I, now that you've said it, now I have to consider um, setting up a little coop and dealing that thing. Hey. All right. But I thank you, though, for sharing with us because um, a lot of people here some of this information being presented and, and think, oh, it's just a load of crack. So I don't know anybody that do anything like this and, and how, how, how do I know it's true? Well, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one of our listeners, a regular listener too, um, yet again contributing to the show in a big way. Here it is, Julie says, hey, I do it and it works. I was pre-diabetic my whole life and the doctors are now amazed. Keep doing what I am doing is what I am told. And Julie, I tip my hat to you. Because Thank you. you've stuck to it. And I'm I know there must have been times when, when you started out, weren't you tempted to just have a little what you're not supposed to have? Well, in the beginning of starting anything like that, yeah. It it 
especially especially when you go to family functions mm. and you have the all the food in front yes. of you and all of that. But you know, after doing it, I, I am glad I have supportive family that you know they're like, okay, you don't eat this, you don't eat that. When I'm when I'm when I'm going to them, they say, okay, any new restrictions I should know about. <laughs> Right, right. Yeah, but um, it, it, it's hard when you go out sometimes and people who aren't used to intermittent fasting or don't know what it is about and you go out and let's say it's 10 o'clock at night, you know, I don't eat food. I may have maybe a glass of wine or something, but I don't eat food like mm. 10, 11 o'clock at night. Okay, okay. Yeah. But after a while, it does, if you stick with it long enough, it, it does get easier. I mean, you don't crave, as, as I think you said earlier, sugar. You don't crave that um, after a while. Well, well, were you a big sugar consumer prior to it? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm a baker, so everything with sugar and sweet and I had to stop baking. Yes, so, so sugar you didn't, you didn't, sweet. You didn't just adjust how you baked? You, had, you just stopped baking altogether? Sometimes you have to go cold turkey and then you can start, you know, back again. But uh, I had to do the cold turkey. Not cold change turkey the ingredients. Because no. I, I've, I've heard no. of some... No. Uh, so it, you, you're, you're, you're a traditional baker. If you're baking something, it has to be done the traditional way. If it's, if it's cake, that requires some sugar. It's sweet. You're not substituting. It requires sugar. No, no. No. Okay. Yeah. I got so, you. So I just have to not do it and then, you know. Because, you know, as, as, as ready to order my cupcakes, you know. No, no, I can recommend some bakers. <laughs> <laughs> no, no cupcakes. Not from this direction. Sorry. Well, you, you gotta have to lick the bowl, right? <laughs> the bowl is all night, so that's why I don't even. That's why I don't even bake anymore. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to figure out a way though because. Uh, no, I, I can recommend you to so many makers. That's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the cards and phone numbers and everything. <laughs> All right, all right. I won't pressure right, you. Then. I won't pressure you. I won't pressure you. Thank all you right, very then. much, Julian, for, no for, for sharing with no us. Problem. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. All righty. All right. So, <sighs> icing on the cake, basically, is 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 what that was right there. Um, not because she's a baker, but yes, putting icing on the cake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Julian. Um, so it's musical therapy time. We were talking about um, intermittent fasting and its benefits, specifically how it benefits or can benefit the fight against breast cancer. What do you have to lose, really and truly? What do you have to lose? I shall oh. to the long side, Nico Allen. I'm sure the girls are with talent. Girls <laughs> Sequence. You go, go. People when I got you by my side. Finally got someone that's down the ride. That's why I could go and make you mine. Yeah, you go, go. It's like you fell right out the skies. My little baby, one of a kind. I gotta say, Julie, like when you, you go, girl. If I rule the world, I swear, girl, you love everything. This is now our musical therapy segment Brought to you courtesy of the Wake Up and Live show So Rockwell kicks it off tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. I got you by my side. Finally got someone that's down the ride. That's why I could go and 
make you mine. It's the hump day edition of the Wake Up and Live show, and like you felt right. later on down in the day, I close it out once again. Like same time, same place, right here, KevinStew.com. And affiliates. It's what is known as Marlon's favorite night shift show. Real Talk Wednesday. She'd say you're a real one But why you gotta act so shy, baby You know that you love the feeling I, Y'all I wanna give you all my attention Spied in your box car with no mention Every girl me know I'm if it be them husband But I wanna you alone can make me choose one Me love it when you come over Pop off the Jimmy Choo and Fashion over. Oh man, you so damn fine I'm not gonna doubt you Me want you for know me proud of you Wow, yeah. girl I got you, Julie. I got you. Finally got someone that's not a rider. That's why I did go and make you mine. Yeah, you go, Like you fell right out the sky. No baby, one of a kind. Y'all look like winning the championship. I'm pulling off in a brand new way. That feeling when them taxes hit. Sad it keeps to a brand new fit. Girl, you make me so proud. Sound of honorable a track called Lots of Love. King Charles track called Juice
from the album Still Searching. King Charles track called Juice. So, as per request, here you go, Julian. It's called So in Love, the song of Hezron. It's been a while I've seen you smile Makes me wonder what's been on your mind It's been a while it took some time To like we used to chill and play for a while Maybe I've been a little occupied Keep you smiling, baby. I gotta hustle all the time. Now it seems to me you wanna ask me if my love is true. Just in case you are wondering, make no mistakes about my feelings for you. And I'm so in love with you. Yes, I'm so. All I do, I do for you Maybe I could spend more time with you Maybe I could have told you more times that I do Maybe I could again kiss you more Just to show you my love for you is secure Baby, I've walked a hundred thousand miles Just to keep you happy and satisfied, baby Now it seems to me you want to ask me if I still do If I still do 
Just in case you are wondering Make no mistakes about my feelings for you Make no mistakes for my feelings for you. Make no mistakes about them, right? The zone of his run. All I do, I do for you and you. And even you hiding over there in the corner. This is on a wild tree. Before I could run, I found you already settled down. Track called if I didn't know any better. Their rendition of it anyway. I know this is just a customary feeling. The moon is a deceiver that will leave you. You're very welcome, Wild too. I hope you do start. Coming up in this song is my favorite part. You know, I got to earn my brownie points, right? This is the cameo appearance of one Miss Annette Brissett. Listen for it. There she was. on a Marlon Farkerson. For those of you who know that name wondering, wait a minute, I know that name. I never knew you were someone Lead guitars for Vision Band. Cause we were just kids in love, not knowing what Yep, the mastermind behind Vision's band. The 
same band that backed uh, Red Rat in Blue Martini last Tuesday. And Hell's Run a few weeks before that. Definitely want to invite you guys to join me tomorrow, same time, same place, right here, kevinstew.com, 10 p.m. Eastern. When I saw you in the dress, As we close out the night shift week with Real Talk Wednesday. And when you consider someone to be that perfect person, what kind of state of mind would you have to be in? How would they have to be in? Is that at, at that point do you say you or they are vulnerable? If you're vulnerable, are you weak or are you strong? Hmm. Things that make you go home. Tomorrow we're looking at vulnerability. As voted last week. Come join us. Let's see what we can learn about being vulnerable. Hey, baby. I just want to Let's see how close we can get. Peter G working out with Joanna Marie. The track is called Close to You. Good night, good morning, good afternoon, good day to you wherever you are in the world. This is how I'm going to be bouncing on out of here. Remember to catch Marlon. Real Rockers should be back tomorrow, all being well. He comes up just before me. It's Marlon Boyle with Real Rockers. Yeah, I want to get close to you too. Can't wait till this video is officially released. You're gonna love it.
Kevin Stew on the night shift. Hmm, you feel for some stew? Check out Kevin Stew. Consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse E Media Group has the tools you need. Weddings, birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse E Media Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse Media Group, when being in the moment is priceless.